Welcome back to Science Fiction Guide. Today we'll explore one of the most fascinating questions in physics. What would we see if we approach the speed of light? Today we follow the Starliner Aurora, humanity's first spacecraft engineered to approach the speed of light, a vessel built not to reach a planet or a star, but to reach the limits of space-time itself. What happens to the universe when you push velocity close to the cosmic speed limit? What do you see when light, time, and space give up behaving normally? This is not imagination. This is physics, revealed through the eyes of two astronauts, Richard and Jess. And it all begins from rest. In this video, we'll explore some of the most mind-bending concepts in physics. Ideas that completely change the way we understand motion, space, and time. We'll dive into the aberration of light, the Terrell Penrose rotation, the Doppler effect, time dilation, length contraction, and the groundbreaking theories behind Einstein's special relativity. Special relativity explains how space and time behave when objects move close to the speed of light. Don't blink, the ending will absolutely shock you. Light moves at 299,792 kilometers per second, the fastest anything can travel, and not because engines can't push harder, but because space-time itself refuses to let anything with mass reach that speed. At 10% of light speed, nothing unusual happens. At 20%, the stars ahead shift slightly blue. At 50%, the universe begins to distort. Richard and Jess become the first humans to witness what Einstein predicted. The universe narrows in front of them and widens behind them the first whispers of relativistic length contraction. Aurora hovers in low Earth orbit, shimmering white against the blue horizon. Inside, Jess tightens her harness. Richard activates the reactor interface. You cannot feel speed, but you can feel acceleration. A soft push, a rising hum, a vibration moving through the hull. The engines ignite, the Aurora surges forward, and the stars begin to move. As Aurora accelerates through 30%, 40%, 50% of light speed, the forward stretch of space begins collapsing visually. Not because space is physically folding, but because relativistic geometry compresses distances in the direction of motion. To the crew, the stars ahead seem closer. The universe itself begins shaping into a tunnel. Perspective defines reality, and reality is changing. Space doesn't behave normally anymore. The stars in front of the aurora shift inward, as if pulled toward the ship's nose. This is relativistic aberration, the bending of incoming starlight toward the direction of motion it's like raindrops moving toward the windshield of a speeding car. The universe begins crafting a luminous tunnel ahead, while behind them, the sky stretches into darkness. Day by day, the funnel sharpens. Aurora seems to be flying into a radiant glowing corridor. The front brightens, the back dims. Space tilts, light curves. The universe becomes directional. Jess whispers, it's like the universe is folding around us. At half the speed of light, the relativistic Doppler effect takes over. Stars ahead sharpen into intense blue as their wavelengths compress. Behind the ship, starlight stretches into deep red then into invisible radio waves. The entire sky becomes a gradient, blue-white fury ahead. 
crimson twilight behind the universe is no longer what it looks like from Earth. If the universe were a giant 3D grid, the aurora is now bending that grid. Astronomical objects appear rotated, skewed. This is the Terrell Penrose rotation, a distortion of perspective at relativistic speeds. An asteroid drifting past seems twisted as if the fabric of reality is being stretched like rubber. Jess murmurs, we're not just moving through space-time, we're dragging its fabric with us. Aurora is now so far and so fast that Richard points the telescope backward. He sees Earth in slow motion. Clouds drift sluggishly. Human movement slows clocks appear to tick thick and heavy. This is the Doppler shift working on time itself. The past trails behind them. The future waits ahead. At this point, Richard and Jess encounter a small black hole along their path. They pass by the little giant at a safe distance, continuing their journey without any dramatic or dangerous encounter. At 80%, 90% of light speed, time begins losing uniformity. For every hour on Aurora, many years pass on Earth. To the crew, everything feels normal, but to an outsider, their motions slow, their clocks crawl, their existence stretches. This is not illusion. This is relativity altering the flow of time. Jess whispers, we're becoming travelers of a different timeline. At 92%, 95%, 96% of light speed, the forward universe compresses into a razor thin disk. Galaxies flatten, nebulae compress, distances shrink, length contraction becomes extreme. The universe ahead becomes two dimensional. Behind them, the cosmos stretches, slows, distorts. They aren't moving through space anymore. They're slicing through space time. The first consequence of relativity is known as time dilation. Our universe is a vast four-dimensional fabric called space-time, made up of three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. Within space-time, all objects follow a path as they move toward their future. When we look deeper into space, we are actually looking back in time. Light from distant stars takes thousands of years to reach us, so we see those stars as they were when the light first left them. By the time the light arrives, the star may have already changed or even disappeared. At 97 to 98 percent of light speed, the starlight ahead becomes so blue shifted that it turns ultraviolet, then X-ray. Aurora's hull glows from the radiation it must filter out. The sky becomes alien, dangerous, electric. They are flying into compressed photons, a cosmic storm made of light. At 99% of light speed, time dilation becomes breathtaking. Now for every minute aboard Aurora, years pass on Earth. Space freezes ahead, starlight crystallizes. The universe seems paused, but Earth? Earth races forward without them. Richard and Jess are no longer travelers. They are time outsiders. They have left the present behind. The universe ahead becomes a single blinding point. The entire cosmos compressed to a needle of light. Behind them, the visible universe disappears entirely. All wavelengths are shifted beyond sight. Yet the speed of light remains constant. The cosmic referee that no engine can cheat. Their journey is not heroic, it is mathematical. A demonstration of what space-time does under extreme motion. 
As the Starliner Aurora pushes past 99% of the speed of light, the universe ahead bends into a dazzling cone of warped starlight. Richard and Jess begin settling into the rhythm of near light speed travel when something impossible appears on Aurora's sensors. A warning flashes, a ripple, a distortion in space-time, a dark circular shadow glowing at the edges, a wormhole. Richard grips the controls. Jess stares at the swirling ring of collapsing light. Aurora confirms, transient Einstein Rosen bridge detected, stability window, short. They know wormholes vanish fast. They know this might be their only chance. They can see through it, and they can. Through the rotating throat, they glimpse a sky that isn't theirs. Different constellations, unfamiliar star colors, a strange red-blue glow. Jess whispers, if we wait, it's gone. Richard, then we go. Aurora stabilizes, engines flare, the ship dives in. Light stretches into ribbons, colors twist. Space folds like liquid glass. Then sudden silence. They emerge into a new universe, violet nebulae, crystalline star clusters, planets with metallic rings. Beautiful, surreal, and utterly alien. Before they can take it in, alarms erupt. The wormhole behind them is collapsing. Aurora. Exit window closing. Richard turns hard, throttles to maximum. Aurora races toward the shrinking wormhole. The throat contracts to the size of a coin, and they burst through just as it seals shut. Silence returns. They're back in their own universe, but forever changed, because they've seen what lies beyond the map of reality. The wormhole behind them collapses, but its dying shockwave throws the ship into a shimmering, mirrored region of space. The stars look familiar, but twisted. The moon appears too large, hanging low like a silent warning. Aurora's navigation insists. Destination confirmed. Earth. Except this isn't the Earth they left. As Richard and Jess descend through the atmosphere, they see cities unlike anything in human history. Transparent crystalline towers, glowing energy streams weaving through the skyline, a breathtaking future, but hauntingly empty. The Aurora lands at a pristine, futuristic version of their original spaceport. New, untouched, silent. Then they see them. Two figures step forward from the glowing hangar lights, Richard and Jess. Perfect mirrors with same memories. The doppelgangers explain the impossible truth. When your wormhole opened, our universe is touched. This Earth advanced faster. Clean energy, perfect stability, near utopia. But there is a cost. Two universes cannot remain linked forever. One will eventually destabilize. The choice is brutal. Stay here, in a flawless world, but as duplicates. Or return to their own imperfect Earth, carrying knowledge that could transform it. After a heavy pause, Richard and Jess choose to go home. Their other selves offer one final warning as the Aurora lifts off. The universes will meet again. When they do, be ready. Richard initiates the flip maneuver. The Aurora rotates, fires the engines backward, and begins to slow. As they decelerate, the universe relaxes, colors return, space re-expands, Time recalibrates, the cosmic tunnel widens and becomes stars again. When Earth finally appears, something is terribly different. Continents have shifted, cities have changed, constellations are unrecognizable. For Richard and Jess, only months have passed. For Earth, centuries. They haven't just traveled fast, they've traveled forward in time. They step out and realize the truth. They've returned 180 years in the future. Human civilization is gone, but not extinct. A floating projection AI activates, 
recognizing their old mission ID. It explains that humanity had to leave Earth centuries ago after a cosmic event altered the sun's radiation. The AI reveals Earth is slowly healing, and they are the first humans to set foot on it again. They didn't just discover a new universe, they saved the future of the old one.